One of the country's most famous poets describes the city of Ankara in the 1920s as a village with a station, a swamp, a graveyard, a jerry-built market, a fire hazard, a village full of twisted adobe streets without any pavement. Ankara, a great city, proudly fulfills the responsibility it assumed after the proclamation of the Republic, which entailed its becoming the capital city from being a little town with a steppe climate. Later, it became a metropolitan city after simply being a capital. The stairs of the buildings in Ankara do not descend to the sea, nor are there any magnificent palace gates in Ankara. But there is a reason to live here in every centimeter of its 1.2 million square meters. It is a city of labor which is a positive role model for all the other cities in the country, thanks to its management style, urbanization and transparent urban management, as well as its high standard of living. In every brick in the walls of Ankara, one can find the power of labor. Let me tell you that when the uh, calculations were made, which took 12 months under the very able chairmanship of Madame Menger, the points which Anker received above all others were nearly twice as anybody else in the field. Over time, places change, as do cities. Ankara is a world city which develops as it grows, which becomes more and more modern as it develops, yet which does not forget its past and embraces its cultural and historical values.
Ankara, our capital city, is a city which grows with the energy of its people and which is shaped by their expectations. Ankara is my city because I'm happy in Ankara. We are working resolutely for our Ankara dream, preparing for the third millennium, because we believe in Ankara.